Hello, shalom everybody. So I have decided to make this video because I feel it's necessary. I feel like there's a lot of confusion about Israel and our, about our right to exist as a Jewish nation. And I wanna make that very clear in this video. I wanna give you the ABCs of a little bit of the history. I'm not gonna go deep into this because I'm not gonna, I need to prepare for a longer teaching about this. If you are interested in knowing more about the Israeli and Palestinian conflict, I would be very happy on making a video about that. Just tell me in the comments below if that is something you're interested in hearing. Uh, but something that I've recently ran into is, um, what's going on with my hair? Something that I've recently <laughs> ran into is a few of my friends not understanding the situation or the conflict between Israel and Palestine. Palestine. Uh, I'm going to call it the Palestinian territory because that's what it actually is. Um, okay, let's go, let's track back a little bit to history. So let's track back to the birth of Israel, right before the birth of Israel. There were already Jews in the land that was called at the time Palestine. The land was called Palestine at that time, but it was not occupied, it was not it did not belong to any group called Palestinian. There was no such thing. It, belong, it was under the British mandate before it became Israel. Okay, let's get that clear. Before Israel be, was born, again, because it was Israel before that, it was occupied by the British. So let's get that one straight. There were Arabs and there were Jews in the land, but it was occupied by the British, okay? My grandparents that came from Yemen came to Israel in the 1920s. There were a lot of Jews that came to Israel before it became a nation, okay? So there were a lot of Jews already in the land throughout all of history, all of it. There were always Jews in the land. I want to get that very clear. I'm sorry, I'm a little angry, but... Okay, in love, okay? Second point, there were Arabs too in the land. We don't deny that. But they were never called Palestinians. You know how they got that name? They got that name from the Jewish people that immigrated, that made Aliyah into Israel. The, Isra the Jewish people were the ones that called them Palestinians. They called the people who were in the land Palestinians. That's how they got their name. Okay? So there we have that. That's Now we're going to set that one to the side. Uh, okay. So throughout the years, ever since the birth of Israel, even before Israel was born, before it was established, before it became a nation that was approved by the UN, that was approved by many, many nations around the world, before it was approved, it was the Jewish people were already being attacked by the Arabs in the land, okay? Already. And the British, by the way, the, were taking Jews that were coming off the boats from Europe after World War II, after they came out of the Holocaust, and they were putting them in concentration camps. I bet you didn't know that, but that's some, some information that I want you all to know. So, so there's a lot of things about history that we need to get right before anybody can make any assumptions. So here's another issue that we need to get established, is that the Jews that were already in the land were being attacked, okay? Before Israel became a nation. Then after it became a nation, then all hell broke loose and by the way, here's another thing that people don't talk about. Israel was willing to split the land with the Arabs in the land. They told them, here, this will be your part. There was, you can find these maps online. I hope you can, unless they remove them. But maybe I'll find one. Anyways, there were sections that the Israelis, that the Jewish Israelis were willing to give the Arabs land. 
okay? And they did not want to split the land with us, okay? But they didn't, they didn't even have a country. They didn't have a country. They were just living inside of occupied, British, British occupied land, okay? So it didn't belong to the Arabs. Let me just get that straight, okay? Now, after Israel was established, we were being continuously attacked from the very beginning, even though we had the approval of many nations around the world. Okay, you can find these recordings. That is a definite. We never stole the land. We legally got the land. By the way, this is the only Jewish state in the world, and it is the size of New Jersey. Okay, let's get that one straight too. All the other nations around us, around Israel, are Arab states, okay? Arab nations. There is, I don't even know how many Arab nations, I'm going to find that out and put it here on a graphic. But there's a lot more Arab nations, there's only one Jewish state the size of New Jersey. Isn't that unbelievable? And still, and still we get criticized. Still, and that is the only place that Jews can live safely, you know? and that we can call home. That is the only place in the world. Because time and time again, history has proven that when the Jews are in other states, other nations around the world, we get persecuted, we get ridiculed. The Holocaust, like just several, several problems with that. <laughs> we were never accepted. We've always been persecuted. So I just wanna raise some questions. Why do you think the Jews have always been persecuted? Where is the hate coming from? What is the problem with us having a, a nation, a state to call our home? If it hasn't been stolen from anybody, it has been rightly given to us. And in history, in history, throughout all of history, Jews were always in the land. So I want to leave you with this. I don't want to make this so long, but I want to leave you with this. Whatever is going on in Israel right now, the attacks that are happening, this is not new. I grew up with that. I grew up with suicide bombers. I grew up with people stabbing each other in the street, stabbing attacks, you know, uh, just crazy, crazy attacks of ra ramming people on the street throwing bricks at people's cars and killing them, going into people's houses, Jewish people, Palestinian terrorists, going into Jewish homes and murdering. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this off by just saying that this nothing is new under the sun. We've been attacked for several, from the moment, from before we were even a nation, we've been attacked. And it's time to recognize the enemy. It's time to recognize that anti-Semitism is a spirit, that hating Jews is a spirit. You need to identify what is from God and what is not from God, and especially in the church. You need to stop uh, uh, sympathizing with the enemy and start to recognize that Israel is the apple of God's eye. So I just pray that God will open your eyes to see the truth about Israel and that you will have a revelation of what Israel is and the importance of Israel and the importance of speaking up for Israel and protecting that nation. Because it has to do just, it has to do with your salvation too. And if you wanna see revival here in the States, Okay, you, you know what? You better pray for the revival to happen, to start happening in Israel first, because that's the fulfillment of prophecy. When it hits there, it's going to hit here. God bless you all, and I pray that you have a great day, and keep praying for Israel. Keep praying for the peace of Jerusalem. Those that love them will prosper. And that's Psalms 122. Look it up. Love you. Bye. <laughs>